I have kind of a gross challenge for you today, but I think it's going to be so worth it. What you need is your spring cleaning checklist, which you can just type the word in clean and I will send it right out to you. You also need some something to clean your stainless or whatever your uh, dishwasher is. You need some vinegar, some baking soda, and a cup that will make it in the dishwasher. I'm using a mason jar. You also need um, some rags. So that's what we need this morning. Here's what we're doing. So the first thing I want you to do is go through your spring cleaning checklist, which you can get right over here, as well as your ultimate home checklist. So every day throughout the year, like not just during the spring, but all year long, I have this ultimate home checklist. And this is what I use every day. I've been using the same system for like ever, like a long, long, long time since my kids were little. But basically I have my each morning and I check off my list. So on my to-do list today, um, I haven't checked it off yet. You can type the word in clean if you would like to get this for you. Um, I've gone ahead and I've exercised, I've showered, I've made beds, made my bed. My kids have to make their own beds. I don't really make my kids make their own bed, but I would like them to make their beds. Long story, in the summertime they make their beds. Um, we've gone ahead and we've started the laundry. I've done the bathroom sinks, planned dinner. We're having breakfast for dinner. I'm super excited about that. Um, I've loaded and emptied the dishwasher, cleared the countertops and gone ahead and wiped them down. Um, and I've done my kitchen sink and I'm tidying my main living space. So that's my morning routine. The whole thing, except for exercise and my shower, takes about 15 minutes. It doesn't take me that long because I keep it up, so everything will get done again. Some of the things get done again at night, so it's easy. And if you would like this list, y'all, type the word in clean. Okay, but here's where it gets gross. So today, the next thing that we have to do that's kind of scary is we have to, y'all, we have to tackle some of the big projects on the Be Awesome in April Spring Cleaning Checklist. So the one we're tackling today is the dishwasher. If you can hit the share this button, if you have a friend who might like to join with you, we will give away a $25 Amazon gift card if we hit um, 100 shares on this video. So hit the share this button, share this with a friend. Type, thank you for typing the word in clean. It should be working now. If it didn't work before, it should be working now. Okay, so the challenge today on the list is the dishwasher. How many of you guys, give me a heart if you have cleaned your dishwasher, like clean, deep cleaned your dishwasher in the last year. Give me a like if you have not done it. Actually, let's see the last six months. If you've cleaned it in the last six months, deep cleaned it, give me a heart. If you haven't, give me a like, and then we're gonna join me. Good morning, T Tony, so glad to see you. Hi, Aries with good morning. Thank you. Oh, hi, Elizabeth and Cindy, so glad to see you. Okay, are we ready, guys? So we're gonna be deep cleaning the dishwasher. I'm gonna show you how to get it done. And I need to figure out how to set up the camera. All you need, like I said before, is just some rags. You need some baking soda, some vinegar, a mason jar, and an old disgusting toothpaste brush that you don't care to ruin because you're gonna ruin this toothbrush. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to move this so y'all can see. I've got a new selfie stick. We're gonna see how it goes. You did yours last week, Stephanie. I'm so proud of you. Okay. Let me think of how I can see. Let me think of how I can get this so you guys can see it. There we go. Huh. How can I get this? Okay, there's my dishwasher. Can y'all see my dishwasher? You see the dishwasher. Everybody see the dishwasher. What you're gonna do is I want you, oh, let's see. My phone is getting grouchy. Maybe I can just set it right there. Maybe that's actually gonna work. Oh, that works perfect, yay. Okay, y'all see the dishwasher. So in the bottom of the dishwasher, First, you have to take everything out, right? If you're really good, you'll have a pair of gloves. I don't have a pair of gloves. You're gonna take everything out. Um, you can take this out. You really don't need to take it fully out. But here's the thing. How many of you guys know what this thing is right here? This is, are y'all ready? This is gross. Yeah. yeah, look at that. Look at that nastiness going on. How many of you guys have cleaned this out? Now, the other thing you're gonna wanna do that's really gross and I'm gonna get a rag to do this with is you're gonna wanna go in, this is bad y'all, and you're gonna wanna make sure there's no gunk inside of here. So I'm checking to see, you've never done this, I'm checking to see if there's any gunk down in the bottom. Sometimes last year when I cleaned it out, I found some glasses. So if a glass or dish breaks, it will end up down here. I don't have anything gross in there. That's pretty good. So I'm just gonna give it a good little rinse out. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this all down and then I'm going to take this. I'll show it to you in a second. Y'all see this? Hang on. Okay. I'm going to stick this in my, I've got some hot soapy water. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the hot soapy water 
And I'm gonna go ahead and scrub this out. You can see there's just some nastiness going on. It's not terrible. Um, oh, look up there is pretty bad. Can y'all see that up there? Hang on, let me show it to you. Because I'm betting yours look just like this. Maybe, maybe y'all all have clean sink dishwashers and I'm the only one. Do you see this right here? Do you see this? This is the spring clean. Oh guys, Black. oh my gosh, this is disgusting. Oh my gosh, look. Okay, we did that. Oh, and as I did that, all of it came to the bottom. Okay, that's pretty grody. So I'm gonna wash this off, I'm gonna get a new rag. Um, really, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a mason jar. Do y'all see this? A mason jar, and I've got some vinegar. And I'm gonna pour the mason jar, I'm gonna pour the vinegar into the mason jar. Okay, so we've got our mason jar, vinegar and mason jar, and I'm gonna actually stick this right up here in the top shelf, okay? So I've got it sitting right up there, and I'm gonna run this after I clean the filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the filter, but then I'll show you, I will run it one time on hot, let it run, then I'm gonna take my baking soda, I'm gonna sprinkle the baking soda all over the bottom, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this, I'm gonna take the, um, baking soda all over the bottom and run it a second time. So first time you run it through, you're gonna run it with vinegar. Second time, a cup of vinegar in the top. Second time, you're gonna run it through with baking soda all over the bottom. And that's gonna clean out your, your dishwasher. However, we still need to take care of this thing. So come on up here. Before I start it, I've gotta finish this off. Oh y'all, I know, you just can't. I'm gonna wash my hands once because we washed my hands all day today, hang on. You gotta get your, you know what? They say that a lot of dishwasher guys who come out to repair your dishwasher, the thing they're repairing is this thing. So let's see if I can get it so y'all can see. It's kind of hard to see, hang on. I'm using this new selfie stick that I think I'm gonna love, but it's I'm, it's a learning curve, y'all. Be patient with me here as I figure this out. I just gotta scoot you down just a wee bit. There we go, so you're not up quite so high so you can see inside the sink. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now we're in the sink. And I need my toothbrush. So remember this is the filter. Remember this is the filter that I just took out? So for anybody who hopped on you, this is the filter from the bottom of my dishwasher. Do you see the nastiness going on there? Yeah, so I'm gonna take, oh, I'm gonna try not to really gross myself out here. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned. And I challenge you today, guys, type the word in clean. I'll send you my totally free be awesome in April spring cleaning checklist. You can do this each day with me. Look how well that's cleaning off. Look at the difference. Okay, so this is gross, but look how good that feels. Okay, that's the one that I just did versus that. Oh, oh, okay, y'all. My bet is that I'm not the only mama out here, and that's just the outside, I'm gonna be inside too. I'm not the only out, one out here, I don't think, who has this nastiness going on in her dishwasher thing. The good thing though is it's super easy to do. Once you've done it, you won't do it again for a year. I want you to see, hang on. Here's what's on the, in this is mine before on the inside. It's really hard to turn stuff on Facebook Live because I'm showing it backwards to you so it's really confusing. Um, yeah, type the word in clean. You guys can name the sink products for the sink extractor, you don't have a dishwasher. Yeah, if you don't have a dishwasher, this is one less thing you have to do, which is kind of nice, but I know you do a bunch of dishes. Okay, there's one, if you look in here, I've got one little, look at that, I can't even get it out. I've got one little piece of something red. It almost looks like an electrosol dish tab that is stuck deep in there. You know, ugh, I'm determined I will win, I won, there it was. Blah. So somebody told me with the Tide Pods, and I'm wondering if it's the same with these um, Electrostyle tabs, that they will actually, the, the, the electrician came out to my house to fix my, dish, my washing machine, and he said Tide Pods will totally gum up your dishwasher and, or your washing machine, and you shouldn't use them. So it almost makes me wonder, seeing that, ugh, I'm gonna get that off. Seeing that, if those Electrostyle tabs gum it up, but really that's the only bad piece. Y'all look how much cleaner. I wish I wish I had taken a before picture of this thing. I should have. Okay, so now I'm just gonna rinse it out one more time. Give it a good rinse. 
You're afraid to go looking. You've been living for a year and you've never done this. Okay, let me tell you, a year isn't bad. Look how much better that looks, y'all. How much happier is my dishwasher gonna clean now that it doesn't have a bunch of gunk? And that was so easy. That took like not long at all. All you need is your toothbrush, um, baking soda, vinegar. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna pop it back into its place and I'll show y'all what I'm gonna do next. Let's come on down here. And I know whenever I do this, everybody says, I've never done this before. So I hadn't done it either until I read somewhere that you were supposed to, and I wanna keep my appliances in good working order because I don't wanna replace appliances because I didn't take care of them. Um, so if you're not sure on what model you have, what to do with it, I just encourage you to do a quick YouTube search. Hang on, let me see if I can get that right. Okay, so now we're gonna take that filter. We're gonna put it right back in. Here's my filter. Can y'all see? I'm gonna stick it right back in here. There we go, I'm gonna lock it in place. Remember, I've got my vinegar, for anybody who hopped on late, I've got my vinegar in my top shelf. So I'm gonna take my vinegar, I'm gonna close it up, I'm gonna go ahead and scrub the front down. Of course, now I've like messed up the roller, there we go. I will tell you, this is a GE washer. We have all GE appliances, I am not a fan. So anyways, just saying, but they're what I've got, so we'll work with them. Then I'm gonna take my Mrs. Meyers Vinegar Cream Cleanser, which I've got a secret to tell you guys next week. Hang out, because next week we're gonna have an awesome deal from The Grove on this, so don't buy the stuff this week, wait till next week. But I use it on my stainless, and what I'm gonna do, just squirted it all over my cupboard, which was lovely. Um, I'm just gonna take it, and I'm gonna do a really good job wiping this down. I've got this cord here from my light, sorry. So I'm just wiping this down really, really well. And then I'm gonna take a rag with, this is just with the vinegar cream cleanser, which y'all know I love the baking soda cream cleanser, but I have to say, this vinegar cream cleanser does a pretty fantastic job on stainless, which is really nice. I'm gonna rinse it now because you do have to rinse it off. At least, I always feel like you do. I don't know the directions actually say you do, but I feel like I do. And then, y'all look at how good that dishwasher looks. Fresh new dishwasher, all ready to go. So simple. Okay, how many of you guys, give me a heart or like if you're gonna do this. Give me a heart if you need to do this. Give me a like if you need to do this and you will do this today with me. So here's the deal. For the next two weeks, we'll be doing a spring cleaning challenge. Every day, you'll have a short list of things to do every morning and evening, and we will give you the exact list of what you need to do. And then you can pick a few of the big projects on the spring cleaning checklist. Y'all, look how good that looks. How good does that look? I need a stainless tub. You need to do this. Oh, Alicia, you do. Come do this with us, y'all. How good does that look? What a happy day. What a happy, happy day. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Actually, I'm really quite pleased with that. That did a really, it's been a long time. <laughs> so I've done a good job on this, so I'm kind of tickled that it did so well. Um, yeah, awesomeness. Okay, so type the word in clean to join us for the challenge, to do the free, to get your free checklist. Join me in all of it. This light is acting so funky. We, I got a new stand and I'm just not so sure what I think about it. And I just got up from cleaning y'all. So give me a little grace here. If you're saying, Laurie, you're a hot mess because I am, I'm just a mess. Not even the hot part, just the mess. Okay, so here's the checklist. Every day, all year long, we have a checklist that literally goes through this. So you're gonna get a sheet of that totally for free. Type the word in clean. You're doing this right now for the first time, Christine. Oh, Christine, take a picture and show me what it looks like. I should have done a thing where I had you guys take pictures. Y'all take pictures before and after and show me how they look. Um, okay, so you've got your free checklist of what to do each day. And this is one that we do all year long. Then this is your challenge for the month. So, so far this month, I've already um, cleaned the pantry, deep cleaned the sink and faucet. I can now check off that I have done the dishwasher. I still have a lot of other products, projects on there. If you would like to join me, you got your checklist, yay, Michelle. Installation guy said to clean the dishwasher once a month. Really, I have never heard once a month. That's good to know. Um, please send you the awesome April checklist. Holly, type in the word clean. If you are on my email list, you should be getting this already. So any of you guys who are on the email list should be getting that one already. Hopefully you're getting it. I really hope you're seeing it. Um, you need to look at in your dishwasher, check your dishwasher, y'all take before and after pictures, let me know. I will be on every morning, Monday through Friday, um, between nine and 9.30, I'm shooting for 9.30 a.m. Shannon may be here tomorrow and do a deal one just because doing Facebook Live 
10 days in a row is a lot like doing it all week long is stressful so i don't get everything else done so i will definitely be on though if i am not here shane will be here tomorrow um you're watching you with your cast on oh starla I would love to get, Starla, I wish I could just come and clean yours. That would make me so happy. Y'all type in the word clean. Join me tomorrow morning. If it's not me, it'll be Shannon. Um, and I'll be back Wednesday for sure. Wednesday, I don't know why. I've got to pick what we're going to tackle Wednesday. But do some of your lists. Get it done. Oh, Patty, you are new. Patty, I am so glad you're here. Passionate Penny Pincher readers are the best. We have the most fun page ever. And y'all are the sweetest group of folks. Um, yeah, what is the screen on the left side of my sink? Oh, the screen on the left side of my sink is my Amazon Echo Show. I kind of love it. Um, for how do we know which project? So Stacey, I've got to confess to you, this is probably really bad. On Stacey asked, how do you know which day each project is? So every day, the Ultimate Home Checklist, we'll be going through that on our regular days. So we'll still do those in the day. But then on the next page, I'm leaving it up to you as to which days you do which thing, which maybe was not a great idea. I probably should have said, do it on these days but I feel like because they're big projects like not everybody can manage um, washing all the cabinet doors on the day I tell them to so you just tackle these any day I'll be going through them I'm working through the kitchen first so Wednesday Wednesday I may be doing the cabinet doors because I haven't done that in forever I actually might do that on Wednesday um, or the small appliances We'll see. Okay, you guys have an awesome day. Good morning, Johanna. Hi, Tracy, you're new. Tracy, I am tickled you're here. Please stick around, type the word in clean. We'll send you out messages when we go live. I'm so glad you're here this morning. Y'all have an amazing day. Be awesome today. Do awesome in all you do. Get your exercise in, get your workout in, get your house clean, get it started. Um, if you're working away and aren't at home, I encourage you to do this list more than anyone. I work full time. I could not do my house and my family if I didn't use these lists. So they will make your life easier and better. Y'all have an awesome day and I am so thankful for each of you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.